Yes, STS-80 was a very, very strange space shuttle mission. What we see is uh, a lot of activity. It can't all be put down to natural phenomena. Um, James O. Berg at NASA and all the other pundits at NASA would uh, love you to believe that these are all ice crystals and space junk and debris. Quite frankly, if there was that amount of debris, that sheer number of uh, shooting stars uh, flying around in close proximity to the space shuttle and the Mir space station, it would be not safe to, to put craft up into space. A piece of rock just a few millimetres across uh, traveling in the opposite direction of the space shuttle uh, would rip through the entire structure of the space shuttle and cause a fatal accident. Well, people always say to me, you know, if there's extraterrestrials and if there's UFOs, why don't they make themselves known to us publicly? Well, I think with the space shuttle mission STS-80, that's exactly what they did do. You see um, objects which are out of focus or they are uh, transparent in some kind of way. And the first one comes from behind the space shuttle, comes into the field of view and they make their way to the upper atmosphere. That's at least what it looks like. Um, it's joined by many others and you get a kind of rough circular formation appearing. And then you get the piece de resistance, uh, the last uh, orb comes into the center of this formation and as soon as it finds its position it lights up and then you can see a sort of dance of lights around this formation now this suggests to me incredible intelligence it suggests to me that they are saying look at us look how clever we are and it's a astounding piece of footage Thank you.